So cannibalism has existed, and it's been a widespread custom um, in humanity for pretty much all of history. And examples have been found on every continent of cannibalism. So a few years ago, back in 2019, I heard that Washington State was starting to, to do human composting. And that disturbed me. Um, I, it just, I envisioned um, something with, with commercial composting, and I didn't want to see that in my Home Depot stores. I, I think it would be really helpful to have uh, any kind of written information you may have uh, gathered on this um, uh, use of, of um, human flesh or blood or bones in compost or uh, in particular, like any news stories, um, any statements by public officials, any advertising, you know, something to document that this is that this is happening, because I think that would that would be a very interesting thing to to um, explore and know more about, because that sounds it, it sounds kind of offensive, so very offensive. So. Actually, Washington State, our neighbor, was the first uh, state to pioneer this. Uh, they, they legalized human composting in 2019. Now Colorado and Oregon has followed, Vermont, California, and New York. And now there's other states, Connecticut, Hawaii, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, um, and several others that are starting to do this. So I started to look into the code and, and I, I started to speak to my coroner and try to understand. I, I've, I kind of backed off on the bill about two years ago and then I was on a plane this summer and, and I was watching, you know, you just kind of randomly go through channels and I watched a video of, of um, some food show and the, the three contestants tasted the food and they had to guess what was in it. It was some kind of a sausage. And one of the options they told these people that was in the food was human flesh. And I thought, at that point, and this was on a plane this year, I thought, this is gonna be normalized at some point. The way our society's going and the direction we're going, um, this is gonna be normalized. So I actually looked up cannibalism and to my surprise, there's only one state in the union that it is illegal, cannibalism is illegal, um, and that is Idaho, believe it or not. Which brings me to this part of code, because I think what I'm trying to do fits right into this part of code. Um, so if you look at the bill, it's 18-5003, um, cannibalism defined, and it, it basically says any person who ingests, fully ingests the flesh or blood of a human being is guilty of cannibalism. So what I did was added language that says, or who willfully provides flesh or blood of a human being to another person to ingest without such person's knowledge or consent. So it literally expands the definition of cannibalism to where um, you, if you provide that to someone without their knowledge that would be covered in that part of code. Um, willfully means if it's done intentionally with the in specific intent to do something that forbids law. So that's really all I have on that. Um, I ask for your print. Thank you, Representative Scott. Are there questions for Representative Scott? Representative Young. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Representative Scott. You and I had a brief discussion about this before the committee, and, and so maybe just for the record, I'd, I'd like you to speak to the question of, you have this language without such person's knowledge or consent in there, and I just want to make sure that when we use that language, we're not saying that if they consent, it's okay, because um, there's some other language in there that does speak to that. So if you could just clarify that for the committee. Right. Representative what, Scott. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Representative Young. What I was trying to capture there, um, it's already illegal for someone to do it themselves, but it is not illegal for them to give it to somebody unknowingly. So what that language does is captures um, 
it getting into the food sources. That that's really my concern, and so that that language takes care of that. Um, if they knowingly do it, they themselves would be violating the law of of um, eighteen five zero three. Representative Scog. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Representative Scott, it would be helpful to me if, if this is printed at the regular hearing. If you tell us, I think, all of us a history of the original bill, who brought it and why, I'd like to know that. I suppose I could look that up myself, but I'd, I'd appreciate, appreciate that for everyone who's listening in. And then also for a motion that RS-31078 be introduced. Committee of a motion to introduce RS-31078. Is there discussion on that motion? Representative Crane. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Representative Scott. Um, I have a suggestion, so potentially, if it, if you agree with it, then I would have an amended uh, substitute motion. But um, would you want to include um, on line 11, flesh, blood, bones, and organs? Would you want to go that far as to include all those elements? Representative Scott. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman and Representative Crane. I would rather not. I, I do believe flesh would would cover the organs and, and bones would be, we might have, hopefully we don't ever have to add the bones to this. Um, but um, at this time, I don't think I, I, I'd rather not change it at this point. Follow up? Yep. Um, the, the reason I'm even suggesting that, which is fine, I'm good with that, was you mentioned the composting. So I didn't know what all they were putting in the compost in those states that you mentioned. So that was, I guess the intent of the bill is it to go after the composting potential. Um, they could be putting more than just that. So that was only reason for my suggestion. So. I don't think there's a question there. If you want to respond, you can. If not, we're going to go to Representative Gannon. Um, I'll just respond briefly. Okay. I was doing that incrementalism thing. I, I, I mean, if it's not even illegal to feed it to someone. So I was thinking like maybe next year we come back and, and go the next step. Um, I was trying to not ask for too much. Um, and, and the other thing is that, that might, you know, may change what we already have in code, and I don't want to compromise since we are the only state that has this in code. And it's, it's actually being used right now um, up, up in North Idaho, 2022, uh, a gentleman was, was charged with this and is on $5 million bond. So um, I don't want to compromise anything there. Representative Gannon. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman and Representative Scott. I, I think it would be really helpful to have uh, any kind of written information you may have uh, gathered on this um, uh, use of, of um, human flesh or blood or bones in compost. Or I, I can send the committee. I have a video of the video I viewed on the plane. I don't know if it was a spoof or what, but it, I, I watched the same thing on the plane. I pulled that up this morning on YouTube, and I, there's a lot of documentation out there. If you just um, Google it, there's a ton of people showing it and how they're doing it. And there's three certified places in Oregon that, I'm sorry, in Washington that do it. So there is a lot of documentation out there, but I'll, I'll send you some links to the committee if you want to dig deeper.